This is a meeting between the Anambra State Government and the representatives of the MIP Farms Agro Allied Limited. They are here to sign a memorandum of understanding of a project worth 1.93 billion naira. This new project will promote food sustainability and improve food security. Secondly, it will create thousands of direct and indirect jobs for the Anambra. Revealing their intentions on the project, the Deputy Managing Director of the investing company commends the efforts of the government in the area of mechanized and commercial agriculture. We're looking at the 30 hectare plus projects and we're looking at building uh, climate controlled greenhouses. The design of those greenhouses have been completed based on data that we've gathered from, from the field here. Um, the vegetables that we produce there will include tomatoes and sweet pepper and and all the different things. And we'll be looking at growing in hydroponics so that we don't have to do crop rotation. We keep growing on the same place, not on the soil, but on uh, uh, soil as media. We'll be able to reduce the amount of insecticides and chemicals and fungicides that we spray because they're under net, net houses and the quality of it is better and better shelf life. The governor expresses confidence in the company and adds that his administration is exploring every agricultural potential to ensure that the state is food sufficient. The chairman has taken off uh, after reappraising the cost of the other two malls. We are going to finish it uh, and uh, uh, we want all the vegetables and uh, most of the items sold in that mall to, to come from a number of states. So we're building a structure uh, that will that's enduring. That's a legacy that we left for, for, for future uh, governors of uh, the states after we finish our eight years. You know, because what we're, what we're trying to do is to make sure that like legal states, Anambra should be clearly independent of all sources of revenue from any other place other than what we can do in Anambra states. The parties formally signed the MOU, which is binding on the investing company, to move to site and commence the development within six months.